Hello, we have a TV to repair. It's a LH17 Echo, 17-inch TV that came in for repair from a rural customer. Uh, uh, the TV was booked in as no power. So here, here, it's 12 volts, 2 amps. So, plug in the power supply. Plug in the power supply here. Here. Uh, it's taking no current. Pressing the power. The TV is just dead. No standby light, no anything. Here we must have some lights here. But it's just dead. So, we have to fix this TV. That's the TV. Some kind of mini 17-inch LED TV that came in for, for repair. Uh, I will say, let me open and see why this TV is not powering on. Let's see now. Uh, we have opened the TV, and this TV it seems like someone once did something before. Because here, here is supposed to have the coil for 5 volts for the standby, and the coil is missing, and also the driver is missing. So that is the reason why this TV is not going on standby. Because the 5 volts power supply, the coil and the driver is missing. So what I can do, I want to check uh, we have a we have the memory chip here, SPI memory chip, and the last pin uh, is not grounded, okay, this is pin number 4, pin number 8 is not grounded, and here we have the processor, so let's lower the voltage to 5 volts, okay, Five volts, even four volts. Uh, yes, yeah, supposed to be a coil, so I will supply five volts to that coil, that place which is meant to have a coil, and see. This is ground. I want to see. The reaction of this motherboard because in most cases on this kind of motherboards i found a lot of disappointments the processor is dying so easily so i don't want to waste time maybe this is something which you can't fix um i'm supplying three volts and it's taking two amps And what is taking two amps? Huh? What do you think is taking two amps? Uh, again, two amps. And what is that? Huh? Check on the thermal camera. The processor is is super hot. It's heating up. Uh, and it's taking around 123 degrees Celsius. So these are some cases where you can't do anything. And remember, this fault is not the first time. This is the most common fault on this size of TV boards. The processor is dying so easily. And uh, at that point, you can't do anything. I found a lot. Trust me, I found a lot. Uh, I think we can raise even the current. Three amps, and it's taking three amps again. 
And here, this is the processor. That the processor which is heating up. And here, we have another driver. We have this driver here. And here, oh, we can't even hold it. It's very hot. So, yeah, this is uh, unfortunate. Um, mm -hmm. I'm very sorry to the customer. This time we, we can't fix this. We can't fix this. This is the common fault on this uh, 17, uh, 19, 20, 1, 24 inch TVs. The processor is dying so easily. The easiest way is to check on the VCC pin of the memory IC, the uh, pin number 8. If that pin is going to ground, uh, in most cases the processor will be gone. In most cases, this big controller, that the processor, will be gone. But let's check pin number 8 to ground. Uh, pin number 8 to ground. According to the multimeter, we don't have a short there. But coming with the, some amps, here yeah, there is a problem. Uh, let's come with with the three volts there. Three volts. Well, that power line is meant to supply three point three volts. Let's see why I hate working with the multimeter. Because in most cases, the multimeter. Is giving me false information and it's taking 500 and still the processor is getting old. You see that the processor and it's taking 682 milliamps. So with the multimeter, I can't see the short, but according to the power supply. There is a short. So, yeah, this is the worst case. When the process has gone, you can't do anything. So, like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. Uh, also, share our videos around the world. How much is this TV? It's very cheap. So, I will just instruct the owner to buy another TV. It's time for another one. See you on... See you on the next one. Bye.